but as soon as many of us heard about that bridge collapse this morning, many of our minds immediately went to this, the Sunshine Skyway Bridge disaster back in 1980. 35 people died when a freighter hit the old Skyway, but a lot of changes have been made since then. So let's start tonight with Fox 13's Evan Moon live near the new bridge to explain. Evan. Yeah, the two incidents seem eerily similar. Uh, this morning, a cargo ship hit a critical part of that piling in Baltimore, and decades ago, the same thing happening just behind me at the Skyway Bridge. We spoke today with an attorney who helped in the recovery process with the Skyway Bridge. He also worked on a documentary about the tragedy here in Tampa Bay. He says he wishes uh, more was learned from the tragedy here. Deja vu. My initial thoughts, deja vu. Tuesday morning's tragedy in Baltimore, a painful reminder of a similar bridge collapse 44 years ago in Tampa Bay, when the Skyway Bridge faced a far too similar fate. That fatal day, a ship ran into its foundation, sending it crumbling. We sat down with the attorney who led the recovery and legal issues following that Tampa Bay disaster in 1980. He said Tuesday's fatalities could have been avoided. I felt not only shock, I felt extreme sadness because I knew other people had to unnecessarily lose their lives to learn a lesson that was taught 44 years ago. When this happened and I saw that the anchor pier wasn't protected, the outcome was inevitable. Engineers in Tampa Bay tell us many different safety protocols were implemented in Florida after the Skyway collapse. The biggest being what they call dolphins or big concrete blocks used as barriers to protect bridge pilings. Notably, there were no barriers surrounding the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore. The Florida Department of Transportation sent Fox 13 a statement saying in part, FDOT extends its deepest sympathies to all those affected by the recent incident. Numerous safety enhancements have been implemented at the Skyway Bridge. These measures include elevating the bridge, widening the channel, and incorporating dolphins, those physical barriers. All protections that Urid says Baltimore's bridge needed this week. That bridge was built in 1977. Okay, it's an old bridge. We've got a lot of old bridges in this country. But when we rebuilt the Skyway, it's a template for safe bridge construction all over the world. It's time for everybody to look in their backyard and make sure their backyard's safe. Here it also noted today that that infrastructure bill that passed back in 2021 was to help some of the U.S.'s older bridges get rebuilt with some of these new safety measures that we see here near the Skyway. He hopes that will be more of a priority now. Mark. For sure. You just got to wonder how many other states are going to look at retrofitting their current bridges and putting those dolphins there. Evan, thanks much.